Hi everyone, this is Pastor Henry of Dixon United Methodist Church, uh, and today we'll be in John 4, chapter 4, uh, verse 14, and this is what it says. Those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. So pause the video and read that passage to yourself a few times. And then I want to uh, ask you the following question. When it comes to your own faith, when it comes to your own faith, what are you yearning for? What are you thirsty for? What are you longing for? In her vision of Jesus' passion of the cross, Julian of Norwich writes, I saw in Christ a double thirst, one physical and the other spiritual. For in so far as Christ is our head, he is glorious and impassable. But with respect to his body, to which all his members are joined, he is not fully glorified or wholly impassable. For he still, for he still has the same thirst and longing which he had upon the cross which desire, longing, and thirst as I see it, were in him from without beginning. It was always there. And he will have this until the time that the last soul which will be saved has come up into his bliss. God's thirst is to have us generally drawn into him. And in that thirst he has drawn his holy souls, his holy souls who are now in bliss, and so, gathering his living members, always he draws and drinks, and still he thirsts and he longs. Beautiful words in the sense that God's passion through Jesus Christ did not end. That Christ is still in solidarity with us and saving those who are suffering. Christ is still forgiving us every time we harm our neighbor and we harm self, inviting us into transformation. Christ is still thirsting for life, thirsting for life for us. It is Christ himself who is the living water. And for me, that is deeply empowering, inviting me to participate in a sense in Christ's passion, continuing to yearn and long to care for my neighbor and caring for the poor and the oppressed. And so today I invite you to do the following. Think of a time when you were truly thirsty. Does this metaphor describe your desire or even longing for God? And then reflect in your writing on the shape of your longing. What was it like? How did it feel? Reflect and write on it. And then finally, pray for all who suffer from unmanageable cravings and for all those who do not have access to abundant clean water to drink. May you all have a blessed day.